YouTube, what is up? Y'all already know who it is, man. It's DTV, and I'm back with another banger. And today, we're going to be checking out Ricky Gervais gives three legit reasons for not having kids. Listen, a lot of y'all were suggesting Ricky Gervais. I didn't know, I didn't know where I wanted to start with him, but then I saw this title right here, and I was like, you know what? This might be a good one. But before we go any further, I need you to do me a solid. If you could drop a like and a comment on this video for the algorithm, I would greatly appreciate it. But uh, y'all ready for this one? Let's run it, baby. Let's get it. Let's go. But I've thought about it, and there's three reasons I don't have children. Okay, three main reasons I don't have children, and I'll share them with you. Okay, here they go. Three reasons, right? One, there's millions. <laughs> <laughs> the world's overpopulated. No one's sitting around going, oh, Rick's not having kids, we're going to run out. But... <laughs> <laughs> Two, kids are scroungers, aren't they? I mean, from day one, it's all me, 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 isn't it? <laughs> Feed me, clothe me, pay for my chemotherapy. Oh, my uh... God! <laughs> oh, shit! Yo, I was not... I was not expecting that. Holy shit. Nah. Not my problem, son. Not my problem. Oh, my God. Luck of the draw, boy. Luck of the draw. <laughs> oh, shit. It costs the average household in the West $200,000 to bring up a child, right? And you don't see that back. They don't want to pay you back. They're not grateful. They don't go, oh, thanks for having me every day. They go, I didn't want to be born, right? You, even if they get a top <laughs> job, right, which they won't, OK? <laughs> You'll oh never see God. that money back, right? They just put you in a home, OK? And my kid, he'd be born into ridiculous wealth, wouldn't he? So... <laughs> <laughs> he'd be a little cunt. Oh, shit! <laughs> Bro! Holy shit! He'd be born into ridiculous wealth, wouldn't he? So... <laughs> he'd be a little cunt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God! A little hamstead cunt. Running around with all the other fucking little hamstead cunts. <laughs> little hamstead and cunty. I'm a little hamstead cunt. Yes, I know. I know, yeah. These are my little cunty friends. Yeah, I know. It's obvious. Well, I can tell from your little fucking cunty hats that you're little <laughs> hamstead cunts, you little posh hamstead. And on the one hand, you know he was a little fucking hamstead cunt. I'm a little hamstead cunt. Yes, we know. Everyone knows, right? He'd know that, right? And on the other hand, he'd know that he could never live up to being as brilliant as his dad, right? <laughs> I'd, say, I'd say, you know, I'd work my way from nothing, and I gave it to you, and you're just a little useless hamstead cunt. And you'd go, yeah, and it, that would probably prey on his little mind a bit, wouldn't it? Like, 11, 12, he'd sort of be a naughty boy, run with the wrong crowd, try and get out from under my shadow, right? And then he'd turn to drugs, and at about 30, he'd come home and he'd overdose on my Afghan rug. 20 grand, that was, <laughs> right? <laughs> And as he was there, right, convulsing and throwing up his fucking lungs, right, and with his little posh, high-pitched fucking death rattle, right? His, his death rattle? Dying words, he'd go, do you love me now, Daddy? No. <laughs> no. No, I never did, and that's why you're never going to be born, you useless fucking junkie hamstead cunt. Oh, my God! Bro! This dude is up there. This dude is up there with uh, with Jimmy Carr. You know what I mean? Wow, this guy is brutal. I'm with it, though. I'm not going to lie. I'm with it. I'm with it. And three. <laughs> He's still not done. I'd worry sick about him. No, I, I, no, I would. I've only got a cat at the moment, and I worry sick about her. I, I check the door three times when I go out so, you know, she doesn't escape. I put food and water in every room in case the door shuts and she's peckish for 20 minutes. Right? <laughs> a human baby, oh, my God, the responsibility of a human life. I'd watch it sleep. I, I, you know, we've said how weak and vulnerable they are. It's like, you go, oh, my God, you perfect little thing, you... 
Oh, flesh of my flesh. Uh, go to sleep in your expensive cot. Night-night, uh -huh. <laughs> oh. sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs... Oh. Dead. <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> Oh, shit. Yeah. Just... Why? Why is it dead? It's just fucking dead. Look. He reminds me of, um... Um... What's his name? Long, long red hair. He sings, plays the piano, and he's funny as hell. Why can't I think of his name right now? Let me know in the comments if you know who I'm talking about. But he had a he had a similar set where he was talking about his kid and and watching the baby sleep and 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 all of that. You know what I mean? Let me know in the comments, bro. Damn, I can't. I've reacted to him before on the channel, but I can't think of his name. Anyways, let's run it. It's just fucking dead. Look. He shook it. For fuck's sake. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh, what shit. The, what a fucking waste of time that was. <laughs> My God. Oh, Why'd he punt the baby? Embarrassing. Jane. <laughs> what? Come here. I'm in the shower. Come here. What? Fucking dead already. I'm, I'm doing <laughs> just fucking... <laughs> fucking hell, Jane. You call that a baby? That is... If Jane was out, I'd have to text her, wouldn't I? Oh, <laughs> my just... God. Babe is dead. She'd come back, whoop, what the fuck? <laughs> I'd go, yeah. Forget the pampers, lol. Oh, my God. <laughs> Holy shit. Bro. Y'all gotta let me know what is next from Ricky, because I definitely gotta check out more. But yo, I'm gonna end this video right here. If you made it to the very end, you the MVP, baby. No cap. If you enjoyed this video, y'all know what to do. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, gang. I appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Peace.